What's up, y'all? What is up? It's your girl, EJ, and I am back with another The Shy Talk. Now, this is part four of the season five, episode six recap. We're going to be taking a look at Emin and Keisha, as well as Darnell and Jada. Let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so when this episode comes on, you know, Black Love is on display. Your girl Jada and Darnell, you know, they are back together and they are doing their thing. Now, (laughs) Jada and, you know, Darnell are going to be talking and Darnell is like, look, we need to go ahead and make this thing, you know, official. You know, I need to go ahead and move up in here. We need to go ahead and be paying bills together and all of this. And Jada's just like, look, I just went through that with Suede. You know what I'm saying? Like the next you know, man that I live with is going to be my husband. And, you know, your boy Darnell gets kind of quiet when she says this. And so she's like exactly what I thought, you know what I'm saying? And then she kind of gets up and, you know, walks away. And you can tell that your boy Darnell is visibly hurt by this. Like, although I'm not really sure why he was hurt. Like, bro, you went cold silent on her when she talked about marriage, pretty much. Like, you don't get to be mad. So anyway, Darnell is like, look, you know, first he was about to walk out the door and Jada's just like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like, this is not what we're going to do. Otherwise, it's just going to end up the way that it always ends up. And he's like, how is that? And she was like, we going to break up. (laughs) So he's like, all of a sudden, he just kind of flips the script and he's like, look, you know, uh, I need you to take me on a date. You know, we need you need to reciprocate. And she was like, I never really thought about that. And so he's like, OK, yeah, I'll uh, just text me what red lobster you want me to meet you at. And she's like, "Uh, uh-uh, nope. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to I want to take you. So this is really cute dynamics between these two. You get to see that there is going to be, you know, a little bit of a struggle in their relationship of them trying to get back on track with each other after being, you know, away from each other for so long. This isn't like they can just jump right back into it, you know, or pick up where they left off because clearly they broke up for a reason. So this time around, they're gonna have to do something different. So I really like the fact that, you know, that they are trying and that they really want this relationship to work so your girl Jada is actually going to get a nice little date together for Darnell and she is going to take him to the steppers club now you know this is the shy and you know they do the stepping thing out there really tough so this is like the ideal date for Darnell so they do their thing they get back home and of course everybody realizes that they're actually just old and tired like ain't nobody got time to be out here doing all this dance and I'm about to fall asleep Jada tried to plan like a second part of the night for him and he's just like nah I'm he sleep like sleep sleep <laughs> so it was really cute to just see this whole dynamic of you know Jada taking him out and spoiling him and doing something really nice for him so uh, that's pretty much you know their entire storyline from this episode is just them going okay out. y'all now like everybody else your girl Keisha and Emmett of course start this episode as well getting it on and they're gonna end up having a heart-to-heart talk as well it's seems like everybody's having these heart to hearts and everybody's having these talks (laughs) so they have a talk about what their relationship is like they're defining it like he's like you know you know I know what you're thinking and she's like you know what am I thinking and he's like you know you want to know what this is and he's basically just letting her know that hey like I want to be with you be with you like like I want this to be it and then she tells him like you know when it's all said and done hey you know the next thing we have to do is tell Tiff. But Emmett really isn't feeling telling Tiff because he felt like um, Tiff didn't tell him anything. So why should he have to tell her anything? So (laughs) he's not feeling that at all. Okay, y'all. So your boy Emmett goes to work and guess who is back? Our girl Dom is back. I've been waiting on her to pop back up into the show because I needed to know an explanation of what actually happened with her and Darnell and how this all transpired. So anyway, she notices that something is off with Emmett and she just sits him down and says, hey, let's talk. So she tells him that it cannot be as bad as what, you know, she has went through with sleeping with him and then getting with his dad Darnell and then Darnell leaving her for Jada so that's kind of how it's all explained basically Darnell just like cut chunk the deuces but we all knew that 
he was really quick to do that and that he would be okay with doing that because he tried to call her in that one episode and break up with her but Jada was like nah but anyway y'all Dom is just going to tell him like everything happens for a reason and he was like well look I tried to be honest with Tiff about you and look what happened and he was she was like yeah look what happened like eventually everything falls into place where it's supposed to fall into place and that you just have to be honest with her and you got to tell her. So once he sees it from a different perspective, he realizes that, hey, he has to tell her. Meanwhile, your girl Keisha is going through it. You know, not only does she have baby Ronnie, she's trying to study, she has school, but now she has this weight of hurting a friend. You know what I'm saying? Because Tiff at the end of the day is her friend and she cares about Tiff and she wants to make sure that they do this right because she also cares about and loves Emmett but it's important for her to let Tiff know because she doesn't want to lose that friendship now Emmett is going to come by and he's going to be like hey you're right we we have to tell her and so they agree that you know they have to tell her but Emmett decides that he's going to tell her himself instead of them telling her together because he feels like that's going to be the better option so of course Emmett is going to call her up and ask her to come by but then Emmett is like look you know what let's just do this in public let's not even do this at the house <laughs> so they meet at Smokey's of course and he drops the bomb on her and comes clean and tells her exactly what's going on your girl Tiffany does not take this well at all you know Tiffany is highly upset about it and Emmett hears her, but he just still doesn't understand. Like, you know, she left him in his mind. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, there's really no reason for her to be upset. You know, this is all from his perspective. You know, I'm just coming from his perspective in the matter. I think I have like several videos as to my whole perspective on it. But from his perspective, he can't really he's just trying to be honest and he's just trying to do the right thing. And I think what may hurt her even more is the fact that I think she realizes that this is real for him. Like this just, a, this just isn't, isn't a smash thing. Like this is a real true relationship and that he loves Keisha. So anyway, Emmett lets Keisha know that he told her and she's like, yeah, I've tried to text her. She's not answering my text messages. She tries to call her. The voicemail is full. Like Tiff is just not trying to talk to Keisha at all. So I don't know. This is going to be interesting to see how this develops and where this goes from here, especially now that we see that Tiff has actually taken it pretty bad you know what I'm saying like what does this mean for Emmett and Keisha how do they move forward with their relationship knowing that they have to have a relationship with Tiff as well now, at the end of the day Keisha and Tiff you know became friends and I'm sure she doesn't want to lose that friendship so how do they move past this how do they get you know back into the space where they were do they ever get back into that space who knows Okay, y'all, so that is what's up with Emmett and Keisha and Darnell and Jada. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation with Emmett and uh, Keisha, with Darnell and Jada. Are you feeling their relationship? I just think Jada and Darnell are just so good together uh, this time around. Do you think that it's going to last or do you think that this is something that's going to fade out and fizzle out? Until next time, guys, peace.